Good evening, everybody. Oh, just finished my dinner, tea, whatever you call it. Um, not vlogged anything today. Uh, been quite busy at work, and it's been so hot. The van has been like <laughs> little oven on wheels. So, yeah, I'm only just getting around to doing vlogging now. Uh, nothing really nothing's really happened uh, it's been a really quiet run of the mill mundane day uh, tomorrow I might be a bit more busier got quite a few jobs and a couple of the long distance ones uh, yeah that's it I'm just enjoying some fresh air trying to cool down a bit Warm. I couldn't sleep last night for the heat. Yeah, it's, uh, it's lying in bed, but apart from Denise snoring her head off. Uh, it was just so hot last night. And, like, just throwing the quilt, duvet, or whatever, throwing that off and say, oh, I couldn't settle. It's tossing and turning oh, till the early hours of this morning. Yeah, that's partly the reason why I just feel so tired at the moment. Uh, eventually did drop off to sleep. <laughs> I don't know how with the heat. But there. Then today has just been a continuation of it and at the moment it's still, even though it's a little bit of a breeze, to me it still feels damn warm. The eyes are just so heavy, I can feel them trying to close. <sighs> Got a question for you guys. <coughs> you parents out there. How do you deal with your child? when they are being sort of like argumentative, giving attitude, talking to you like there's something on the bottom of the shoe, screaming, slamming doors, stamping around the house, smashing things around the bedroom, like in temper and things like that. How do you deal with that? Um, what sort of punishments do you lay down? Because we normally like to take the mobile phone off her, maybe it's even take the TV rights because she likes the EastEnders and Coronation Street and stuff like that. Maybe it's even take that off her. Uh, things like that, you know. If it's if it's just been like a bit being a bit of a pain, you know, um, well, just a little bit of an argument type of thing, she might lose it for the next day. But I'm, I'm talking about like when they're really bad, you know, when there's just no getting through to them and they're just, all they want to do is argue and throw your dirty looks and just be downright horrible, you know. So it'd be interesting to see how, how you parents out there deal with that and the different ideas that you have got, because I'll be honest, um. I'm lost what to do now, you know, because nothing seems to work. Take a phone off her, take a TV, she gets used to it, you know. <laughs> and Georgia gets used to that sort of thing. She goes, yeah, okay. At the beginning she might kick off, but then she'll, after a short while, she just gets used to not having a phone, not having a TV, whatever, you know, it's, uh, not having, in, like, internet access or whatever. So, when they get used to it, what do you do after that? You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> Hmm. I'd be interested to hear your ideas. My number, I can't get through to you. You sod. <laughs> I could hear that from outside the garden. I was just on a periscope session with Nashi and Steve and Michelle and them. And I could hear this video 
coming out <laughs> out of the window on the door. It's uh, Steve's voice and my voice. And <laughs> God, and Denise laughing as well at the same time. <sighs> mm, yes. <laughs> Just had a Hartley's jelly pot. God, it's the years since I've had jelly. Wow. Cold, <laughs> obviously. Ooh, excuse me. Look at that face on that. <laughs> Put me sitting right down. on there. Hello. <laughs> ah, beautiful sky, isn't it? Yes. What I call this vlog. A vlog of random rubbishness. <laughs> That's a good title. How's the insect lodges coming on? There's got to be something living in there somewhere. And the one for the. What it's for? Whether it's wasps or something? Or and there's something in the top one there. Yeah. So it's like half eight at night and George has just gone in the bath. Yeah, that was a good little periscope session with Nashi. And Steve and Michelle, it was uh, quite enjoyable. And I quite enjoyed this uh, periscope malarkey. Yeah. That's another good title. This periscope malarkey. Let me see ya. There she is. <laughs> Give her a wave so we can see ya. <laughs> See all the stones <laughs> all the things the stones will keep collecting on the beach. Always come back with something and picking up pretty looking stones and shells and all that sort of thing. It's gotta be done. Uh, yeah. yeah, sun setting across there. What do you have to do down there? <laughs> Either way. Is he terrorising you? Is he bugging you? She's been snuggling up the last couple of nights. Snuggling up on bed and doing a bit like what dogs do, you know, just spread themselves out and take up the whole bed. The one which just spits out to, <laughs> to the fair size. Uh, yeah. Not much happened today. 
one of those days. Uh, get tomorrow over with, then I've got a day off. But I've, I've got the car booked into the garage on Thursday morning, nine o'clock. So I'm gonna go to work, and the boss is gonna run us down and bring us back because the fan on the car it's only working on number four and apparently what that means is if there's moisture underneath the glove compartment which i've checked and there's a little hole underneath the glove compartment and it does feel damp that means there's a drain hole which is behind the pollen filter in the car and apparently that's blocked and when that's blocked and it builds up moisture and everything and um basically trashes the resistor pack which is to do with your cool your internal vents and everything and that looks like what's happened apparently if it, if it only works on number four uh which is putting the full power through the through the blowers which could eventually just burn it out um apparently the moisture has got into the resistor pack so we'll that's got to be replaced and have that drain hole cleared. So, yeah, I'd rather get that done so at least I've got something to demist the windows and, uh, and not ending up having to buy a whole new fan system for the car. So, that's what I'll get it done now while it's relatively cheap than having to buy the full on fan system, which I have no idea how much it'll cost. Uh, <laughs> the one in the van, uh, blowers in the van, they had repaired, they had fixed ooh, about two two weeks ago, three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, something like that. <laughs> and I've been seeing the bosses, and it it's as if it's intermittent. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it'll not. And this has since has been fixed, and today couldn't get anything and I was melting in the van uh, seriously I was so hot then even had the only time I was getting anything through the blowers was when I was doing like 70 mile an hour down down the A1 um, I think that's just the speed of the, the vehicle pushing the air through so, so I totally forgot I'd been messing on with the vents trying to get get them to work <laughs> about an hour and a half later all of a sudden I'm just blasted when they, they did eventually come on I just got blasted with like number four on the vents <laughs> it's like oh my god <laughs> so that's gonna have to be booked in as well when when we've got a quiet period uh, get that looked at so, yeah so anyway I think that's enough random irrelevant chatter for the night oh it's dark in here hello my little honey bun hello how are you how's your day been it's been all right um busy because the the my buses are going away um on holiday so they're like getting everything prepared for when they're away so we don't have too much to worry about mm. but I'll be a stress head on Thursday until next Thursday yeah. probably yeah, but mm -hmm. it's all good <laughs> I've been watching the bookstore when it was Lisa's birthday oh yeah I've been on a, um, on a, a yacht cruise thing for for our birthday with me the bird <coughs> Birthday celebration on a yacht. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. I think you were watching Steve as well before. I could hear you from outside giggling your head off. I just keep watching it, it's so funny. He's like he's trying not he's trying his best not to laugh. I would have caved in straight away when he when I said uh my name's PC whatever it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Can't wait for you to get a mark though. And you know you will. 
Actually, Nashi's given him ideas on Periscope. <laughs> Saying the saying daft things like you, know, you should have said it was something to do with YouTube videos or something like that. Or <laughs> Stop giving them ideas. You know, God. They suffer with enough stress without the added stress of thinking somebody's going to prank us. Don't need that. <laughs> it's good stress, though. Fun stress. <laughs> oh, what? So it's okay if they prank you then? No. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. No. Because I was just panic out of you. did go a little bit pale though. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I'm saying that it's, my brain's gone dirty at the dozen thing. What? I haven't been stopped. I would have got something through work. Because I would have got to work before I got to me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. We did laugh very well, we laughed at. Yes. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> well done, Steve. You so and so. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm going to get away. Like I say, it's enough sort of random shanda for the shanda. day. Shanda! Oh, was that you being loving there? No. Oh. Never. Mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's enough random shanda for the day so uh, it is now 20 to 9 at night so I better get this edited and uploaded and get to bed and snuggle up with my beloved and oh, are, you, are you going to come to bed as well? Uh, no. All right. I forgot, I forgot something what? my good not told you <laughs> I'm not excited is that a kid at Christmas? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to sleep. I know. We've got to be up. Well, we've got to be at the uh, airport for like six or so. So we're going to have to be up like three o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah. Apparently you've got to be at the airport. So like uh, two hours before. Something like that. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably not even go to bed. I'll just sleep on the plane and have a pint of Guinness at six o'clock in the morning at the airport or something. <laughs> something like that. And just have a kip on the plane. See, we haven't got any meals booked or anything like that, we might as well just sleep. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Can't wait. Can't go quick enough. Yeah. I can't wait to get that banana hammock on. <laughs> I think I can wait for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, anyway, on that note, enough to put you off your tea. I'll, um,. I'll say goodbye and I'll catch up with all we're gonna catch in there, yeah, yeah. I'll catch up with you all very soon. Bye for now. George. <laughs> George is in the bath upstairs shouting bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.